Hello and I welcome back to my videos. In this video, I will introduce you to, to Active Directory users and how you can create the user and how you can group them so, so you can organize your, yourself. And the benefits to create users in the domain controller and not create it on a single computer is if you have 10 employees and you only have five computers, you have to choose should everyone have the two on the same users on every single computer so the same employees can work at the same time or should you create all 10 uh, employees on every single computer to, to be sure they can log in on, on, the, on every single computer or will it be better to create every single user in your domain controller so the user basically just needs to log in on every computer and if you, if you want to fire your employees and just disable the account and then the user can't log in on your network anymore. I would prefer you to, to use the domain controller to use it this way. It's more secure and it's much, much easier to, to, uh, to change and create users and delete users. So let's begin. The first we want to do is uh, right click on a domain and then click new and then we go down here to the unit and you can click create. I will just press test unit if you don't uh, remove this protect container from delet deletion that's mean you can never remove this container again I don't need this container after I have created it so I just remove this but if you want to be sure it's not uh, need to go away so if one admin go in and with the mistake remove this and every user has disappeared just click it on I click OK I just remove it again because I already have one so delete the minutes and yes I go into my home user folder and right click go down for new and then go down for the user here I will call it the test because that's what we have test login that's my username and I pick one password and we create it now we have the, the test and the type is user and I will go down on the other machine to log in and go in for the other users I will go inside here and then I will say test login and type my password I will log in and the password needs to be changed because that's what we have and I change my password it should be the same but I don't know about I have uh, okay, so I'll say I'll try another one. And then we are good to go. We have changed the password. It's meaning the first password that the admin can can use and send it to the employees. And when the employees is uh, is logged in the first time then we say you need to change it and based on your account policies it's it's different about how uh, uh, when the, the password will expire or not and it will take a couple of uh, minutes and then we are ready to see the desktop for this user so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy i hope you want to subscribe this channel to get more videos from me and I hope you want to like this and add it for your playlist so you can find it later. Of course, if you have any comments, please make them below so I can try to answer them. And I hope you want to share with your friends and thank you so much for your subscription. See you next time.